Welcome to my podcast, A Mathematician Goes Birding. This will be a bit different than my other content on my channel. For one, it's audio only, and two, it's unlikely to help you improve your photography. But don't worry, if you're here for that kind of content, I'm still committed to producing it. On the other hand, this podcast will consist of commentary on birds, ecology, the environment, and the world. I made this podcast in part because several years ago, I started bird watching, and that opened my eyes to some of the ecological disasters humans are afflicting on the world. At the same time, I started to realize some of the things we are afflicting on ourselves, and I wanted to devote some time to talk about this important problem. So without further ado, I am devoting this first episode to artificial intelligence. What exactly does this have to do with ecological disasters and birds? Well, I'm sure many of you know that there's a bit of a storm brewing, an AI storm. We've seen in the past years some rather powerful technologies come out such as ChatGPT and others. Now, from one perspective, we could look at AI as yet another technological invention grown from the brilliance of humanity. But I prefer to look at it a bit different. I look at AI as the best demonstration that we are a society driven by innovation and invention, and that path is going to lead us to destruction if we don't make serious changes. AI itself, of course, is a serious danger. For one, it will radically transform society by removing a lot of purpose from people's lives. And I say this not only because it will make many jobs obsolete, for example, uh, content creation, of course, but other, other types of jobs such as writing, but also because it will make many things so easy for us that even creative hobbies may start to lose their appeal. Fundamentally, humans need a purpose. I really do believe that humans need a purpose in life, and simply sort of turning on a cheat code, if you will, making everything so easy will be quite disruptive, and it'll be disruptive in a way that is unlike any disruption we've ever experienced before. I've heard people repeat ad nauseum that AI is like any other innovation. Countless other technologies have caused jobs to be obsolete, and we have adapted. For example, uh, cars uh, replaced horses, and it seems like we've adapted. Well, I think there are two strong rebuttals here, and the first is that we haven't really adapted all that well. And that's something I'll talk about in another episode. But um, just saying that we have adapted isn't really a strong argument because, well, humans haven't really adapted to the changes that cars have brought upon our society and the use of fossil fuels. As we have seen, uh, the atmosphere has an enormous amount of carbon dioxide in it, more than it has had in the past hundreds of thousands of years. But even if we grant that humanity has adapted, AI will make such a radical change that adaptation is extremely unlikely to occur. To make an analogy, it is like seeing a boxer with training will adapt to another person throwing punches at them, so that person should also be able to adapt to a car hitting them. It's just that the magnitude of change that AI will bring is unlike anything we have seen before. And many people like myself and others have already listed some negative consequences. I'm certainly not the first to list some negative consequences about artificial intelligence, but there are many things that no one will predict, and those are the ones in a way that scare me the most. Therefore, it makes no sense to build and develop artificial intelligence if we hardly know the consequences. It is like giving a sharp knife to a young child. At the very least, we should show much more caution, and yet we don't. Personally, I think the development of artificial intelligence, the, the unrestricted development that we see today, is unimaginably stupid, and anyone that contributes anything to artificial intelligence is really doing all of humanity a great disservice. Some people have also argued that we should study artificial intelligence because its development is inevitable. Unfortunately, that might actually be true. AI is so easy to develop now, all you really need is a powerful computer and some smart computer programmers and you have, you can build AI. But then again, the development of AI might not be inevitable. For example, the dangers of COVID stopped the world in months. If that is possible, perhaps it is possible to stop the development of AI as well if enough people become convinced of how dangerous AI really is. So at least I thought it would be a good idea to try convincing people, because even though it might seem like a lost cause, perhaps we should try harder to save our planet. At this point, you might be wondering what AI has to do with ecology and the planet. Well, AI is perhaps the current pinnacle of technological development. And I think most of us know that technology, such as the internet today, is highly distracting and addictive. It's also pretty self-evident that we are becoming slaves to technology, in the sense that all of society is directed towards the development of technology, and we are in return rewarded by being further immersed in it. Only, it's easy not to look at it that way because it is instinctual for humans to collect information and develop better tools because those instincts would have been adaptive in our evolutionary past. So I think a lot of what we're seeing today is a perversion of adaptive instincts and abilities that we once had that are now essentially running free in modern society, which provides it with an unusual amount of resources, which we never would have had in the past. And that is producing some very unusual effects from these adaptive instincts that have now become maladaptive. In short, we are drawn towards technology like a moth to the flame without being fully conscious of the fiery death that awaits us. 
This makes it highly probable that we will continue to innovate and become further immersed in virtual worlds, probably created by AI at least in part, and become even more dependent and hooked on technology. And this isn't a prediction. This is what's happening already. We are already immersed in technology and we are already essentially forced to create technology. In fact, if you're a young person going to school today and you look at the types of jobs that are available to you after you graduate, pretty much all of those jobs in some way are essentially devoted to the creation of new technology in the form of products or even directly in jobs like computer programming. And in this way, the technological system will just continue to grow because most societies these days just encourage unrestricted growth beyond anything that is reasonable. Of course, the growth will come at a cost to the environment. We are building a system to make being human more and more efficient, and we are so numerous that we can't help but continue to grow with this efficiency and squeeze out all life around us. However, there is another way. We could take this moment to grow up and become more responsible. We don't need artificial intelligence. We don't even need new advanced technologies for the most part. You know, when I was a kid, I used to think that all knowledge was good and that we should continue to learn and develop our vast collective intellect to solve problems. I realize now that the viewpoint is totally wrong. That vast knowledge we are capable of developing requires a high level of maturity, and that's a level of maturity that we just simply don't have. I look at a lot of technology companies today and I see what they're doing and it looks a lot like a child playing with fire. It looks interesting and it looks pretty but they can burn the house down. Over the next few episodes, I'm going to elucidate many of the points I made in this initial episode. It's a complex topic, and of course, I couldn't go into an enormous amount of detail here, but I am excited to share it. If you have any questions, I encourage you to ask in the comments. I know the looming AI era seems rather scary to many people, and I can understand that. I get scared about it too. I get scared that we are creating a world that will be irreversibly always about technological development, which in turn will be a place where we can no longer be human beings. The good news is that not all hope is lost. Through a combination of caution, forethought, spiritual self-reflection, and societal evolution, we can still stop a serious disaster before it starts. In future episodes, I will talk about how. In the meantime, I encourage all listeners to think about this topic very carefully. Stop using AI. Don't even try it out, even for fun. Use as little technology as possible and spend time outside in nature if you can. Although I don't know how to solve all these AI problems, I am sure it will start with steps as simple as these, part of which is reconnecting with plants and animals. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you again next time.